Camden County Clerk Roland Todd here as we get ready for election, baby. Just no, less than two weeks away already. It's here. It's here. And and now you have no excuse voting started today. So anybody can come in and vote absentee. You don't have to have a reason you're going to be out of town or anything. You can come in and vote. It's so simple anymore. So please come in and vote for April election because that's one of our lowest turnout elections that we have. And especially this year, more crucial than ever to get involved. But hey, before we get into that, listen, Roland, you've been with Camden County. Now this is your 21st year. You've seen a lot of changes as we come into this election season. Uh, have you ever seen a time like this uh, with your tenure at Camden County? No, no, because you know, the biggest thing that comes into play, of course, is the election equipment. You know, there's so much negativity out there about using what we have, you know, the electronic voting equipment. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it gets tested. We'll start testing it Thursday. Anybody's welcome to come in and watch it, you know. Sure. I have uh, judges come in and they feed the ballots into the machine. And we check and make sure the accuracy is there. So, Very no, I, I haven't. And it's going to get worse as this year goes on. Sure, especially considering the last you know, six to eight years of what's going on in the national level. Right. There is so much distrust and, and lack of knowledge surrounding that. But hey, so this April 2nd, like I said, less than two weeks away, it is the general municipal election. And then we've got a primary in August and a general <laughs> in, in November. And so for me, I even struggle to, to keep up with it. And so somebody watching, maybe they've never voted, they want, want to get involved. Can you give me a quick synopsis of the difference and significance of those three elections? Well, April is for everything that's not federal or state or county is really what it is. You can, schools, fire districts, um, ambulance districts, water districts, city, city races, everything's in April. Then you come back in August is a primary for all your uh, state, uh, county, and federal elections is the primary. Then you come back with another general election, which is really, that's whatever is left from the August election, the winners, then they have to go against in general. Now, yeah. the primary in August, of course, you have to declare a party, which is another very touchy issue with a lot of people. Yeah. They do not like to do that. But unfortunately, by law, you have to do that. The general election will have the Republican and Democrat on the ballot. And if we have a Constitution or a Libertarian Party, they'll be on the ballot too. Yeah. But that, that's really the difference of the elections. Very good. And so uh, as we get into April 2nd, I'm looking at the, the sample ballot, which yes. you can find right now online at camdenmode.org. Uh, they make it really easy. We'll touch more on that. But as I look at some of the things like a school board, um, you talked about some of the levies from the fire protection districts and stuff. Right. I mean, these are super important issues that sometimes people don't exactly understand the significance. So how important is the April general municipal election? You know, I, I put it as this too, you know, at the federal level, do you ever get to go walk in and meet your representatives? You don't. Right. The local races to me are so much more important because you can go in, you can sit down, you can visit with them. You can gripe at them, you can praise them, say they're doing a good job. To me, that's that's why I, April elections are important because you can go one-on-one -on -one with them and explain why you're mad or why you're happy. And the cost, you gotta remember, these people are paying to put this on the election so you can vote on it. And some of the costs, it's like, I'll use Camden School. You know, it's $16,000. Wow. You know, that, that, that's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Now, they'll get a refund back because I always bid high. You know, you have yeah. to estimate high. I'd rather give money back than, than to ask for more money. At the so, end, right? But yeah, please, I can't stress the importance of an April election. I, I Average, it's about 14%. 14% turnout, and I know yeah. we'd like to see that number uh, grow. So some of the things they need to know going into the April 2nd election, I know that we're past the point to be registered if you're not already, but you do want to probably find out, am I registered? And there's ways that you can do that with Camden County. Yeah, all you have to do is call the office. You know, it's 573-317-3890. We'll pull you up. We'll tell you if you're, a, you know, you're registered to vote. We can also tell you where your precinct's at. You can also go online and find out all this stuff. Now, a person needs to remember a sample ballot covers the whole county. 
not everybody gets to vote on everything. Right. We get some wondering why they can't vote on a school bond, but you got to be in that school district. Right. So, but no, it, it, anymore, it's so simple now to find out the information. The website is, is, is out there. We try to update a lot. Um, the girl that works in my office uh, does a terrific job on it. I mean, she's constantly putting stuff on it. Yeah, very good. And you touched on, you know, you want to know your precinct. And for you guys, there is a new precinct on HH that's more convenient, it seems, for people to get to. Yeah, in the past, at least one election on what we call the big, the big year, which yeah. is this one, we always seem to have to move. This year, we went ahead and decided to move that polling place to the POA on HH, which is right there on HH. We were using the lodge, which has worked great. We're gonna use that now as a backup. Yeah. So HH, uh, the POA, excess is right there, more parking, um, uh, more room, you know, for the parking. And uh, I, that will be a busy precinct. Very good, and another thing we talked about was you wanna check out your candidates uh, prior to going into the election booth. And so on your sample ballot, you can see those, but there's other ways. And I was gonna ask you, from your position, what are some things you'd love to see the community get behind as far as helping the voters get to know their candidates? I would love to see a website that people could, we can't do it. The county clerk cannot do it. Because right. We can't get behind any issue at all because we can't look like we're favoring you one over another. I'd love to see somebody do a website where they can give the information on these candidates. Yeah. Because right now, I don't I don't know of any. I know Studio T has done it uh, historically for certain elections. I know they possess the knowledge, but I, I'd love to see that as well. And uh, you took, talked about not just this election uh, coming up on Tuesday, April 2nd, but the August election, you can register online on this website. Check that out. And uh, I got to tell you, Roland, CamdenCountyMo.org. You click on departments and you go right to county clerk. All of this is there from the, is. the map with your precinct. You guys have done a great job. And if, if people are watching, what's the one thing you want to end with as far as getting people out to the, the voting booths? You know, it's, it's, it's up to you all to get out to vote. You know, we, we can't force you to vote. You know, we get asked all the time, well, why is our account so, you know, so low? But I can't lead people to the polls. Right. I mean, I, I wish I could, could, could do that because the importance and it's part of my job. Yeah. You know, voting is a very important part of the county clerk's office. And uh, I, I just would like to see people get out and vote. Applaud you guys for the work you're doing because you have made it incredibly easy. I learned a lot by uh, ciphering through the website and looking at all those helpful links. So make sure, one more time, camdenmo.org, click on departments, Camden County Clerk. Roland Todd, I thank you so much for your time. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me on this. I, I, I was tickled to death when we talked.